even my grandmother she has good skin yeah my grandma has good skin. okay maybe i did no no Bingo. Welcome back to my channel. It's moi, you today's savage. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to this page, welcome. Salut. And for my loved and dear, you know, the usuals, thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate it. As you can see, I am barefaced. No weave, no, none of that. I just wanted this to be like a relaxed video. And I wanted to show you like my skin routine simply because I posted a, um, a video of my Pat McGraw review check that out and people were like oh your skin you today like your skin's looking a lot better what do you use and I was just like really like I knew my skin was better but I didn't know people were, like I didn't know people could see that does that make sense so um I just wanted to show you some of the things I've used and how my skin used to look and how it's looking now as you can see so just a bit, a bit of like you know just showing you what I use and what could help you if you're also in my situation because honestly I can't explain what happened to me but before we get into it actually I will explain everything that happened to me but before we get into it don't forget to subscribe press the bell so you'll be notified when I put my video through and share and like yeah the usuals <laughs> so now um my skin has been eh, i've always had like typical i don't know what it is it's just typical skin to be honest but then as i grew older i had major breakouts like major breakouts um apparently uh, so i went to two dermatologists and they actually told me that i had late puberty so when i was in secondary school i didn't really have spots like that just the one or two but it wasn't major but when i was in my 20s it just it manifested out of nowhere i couldn't even i didn't understand it i was just like what the hell is going on with my skin and the dermatologist gave me a cream it made it worse because i broke out in mad rashes um i was so paranoid with my skin like when i'll show you pictures of course but even when i put like makeup on the bumps were showing everything was just mad bad like really really bad um so i decided to just throw all the um products from the dermatologist into the bin literally paid for everything by the way um i went to nhs and i went private the private one were useless i have to be honest in my opinion maybe it's the people that i went to they were useless um and they charged me a lot they were absolutely useless um the nhs was useless the nhs one um caused the rashes the private dermatologist it just didn't even do anything like i genuinely didn't know what was going on so i was thinking what the hell do i do especially because i thought if i go private so i went nhs first and it caused the rashes then i went private and i thought they would help because everyone was like oh go private go private and it didn't make it any better it just didn't even do anything so i just thought rather than paying for all this um products that i'm using let me just go natural let, like let me just literally throw them all in the bin go natural and see what happens so um i started using black soap so my auntie told me to use black soap and she got me some from nigeria so let me just show you how it looks um, so Osha Dudu you can get it in this form so this one is actually Ghanaian Osha Dudu so Ghanaian people also use black soap I don't know what they call it in their language if you know please put a comment in the comment section um, this is black soap this one is not really that black but it's black soap I love it it's amazing this has already been formed the powder one that I also use, which is actually Nigerian black soap, before they've molded it into a soap bar, into the, like the conventional soap bar. That's the one I prefer to use personally. It's more, it doesn't really make a difference, but to me it's less harsh on my skin than the bar soap. I don't really like the bar soap that much, but the powder form, 
love it and it is a powder form but the minute you put water in it it solidifies so i like that a lot i've been using that for years now and i feel like it really 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 helped my skin a lot um as you can see i had mad breakouts like all here blackheads and then those spots on top of blackheads spots on top of spots i was just like what the hell like are you a gang like what the hell is going on with my face you would think that there were gangs fighting on my face like it was really bad now my skin is a lot better it's still not where i want it to be but i'm grateful for where it's come from so as you can see i still have a bit of the blackheads there i don't know if you can see that like here um yeah and dark eyes but i've always had dark eyes but I am fixing that. So I just ordered um, Le Mer. <laughs> it cost a bit, but apparently it's really, really good for um, black, uh, melic black skin. So, moi. <laughs> um, I, I can't lie, I just thought it was more helpful towards white women, men, you know, fairer tones. But apparently the Le Mer is actually for all skin. Cause you know they say it's all it's for all skins, but it's not really because I've noticed when I use certain skins, um, certain products on the shelves, they're not that good. So I didn't stop wearing my makeup. I just fixed my routine. Um, I'll show you some of the products I use now. So the first thing I did was throw away all the dermatologist, um, the dermatologist's products, all of it, the private and the NHS. I threw it all in the bin, and I said I was going all natural. When I first started, I did not like it. I did not like it whatsoever. It used to dry up my face, but I just continued using it. And as I continued, I noticed that the so, um, the spots were not forming anymore, even when I was on my period, because us women, when we're on our periods, we get more breakouts. Even when I'm on my period, I wasn't getting spots. And that's because of the black soap. To me personally, I feel like the black soap really helped that. Um, some of the other things that I do use are um, face masks. So, I never, story of my life, as I like to be girly girly whatever whatever, I notice that I don't do what other women do, what other men do, which is to take care of their skin. Now I just used to put on makeup and wish hope for the best, literally I wish for the best that you know, whatever happens happens, I, I barely used to prime my face. I used to just go wild like a viking like literally just put on anything and go but now i still don't prime my face as much as i like to i prime it once in a while but i really don't prime my face that much but i do have primers that i like so don't judge me um i'm learning but what i do do is i've really really invested in facial masks and i will show you some of my top top best facial masks that i've been using and have really helped me along the years um so the first one is this bad boy from body shop it's um himalayan charcoal don't know if you can see that Oops. It's not clear. I don't know if you can see that. If you can't, don't worry. I will put the details in the description box. This is the best bad boy I've ever had. Like I've used this for over a year now. Love it. It is so good. Um, it's 18 pound per jar, and it takes a while for you to use it. I've nearly finished mine simply because I've had this. Yeah, I've had this for like six months. So no, longer than that maybe like eight nine months i've had that and i've loved it really really loved it and honestly it has really helped my skin it's it kind of it dries it out so let me just show you how it looks it kind it's like a mud look it has this kind of mud look i don't know if you can see that i'm so sorry if you can't but it smells nice I have to be honest it smells really nice it is a mud look it dries out your face but your face will love you once it's dry it's that kind of it's that kind of facial mask um i like it i can't i i've even got two bottles because it is that good if you if you find it's too harsh i do suggest using less harsher products the only reason why i use this one is because it gives this my face a tingly feel 
So when I apply it to my like my face after I've washed it, steamed it, it gives this kind of tingling feel. And I like that. I like that a lot. And what I also do, once I put on that mask specifically, I use my face steamer. Now I got this from Amazon. Um, it was less than £30, but I don't know how much it is now. Good investment. You just put a bit of water in here. Pop it in. Click it open. Sorry, click it on. And your face starts to steam up. And I put this, so I use this with the, the masks. So what I usually do, my routine is to wash my face with the black soap, steam my face, then put the mask on, then steam my face again. Um, just because I want it to really go inside. So my pores are opening up, then the mask is going in, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's the best thing, but that's what's been working for me and I really appreciate it. One of the other masks I use is this one. This is um, a coffee intense awakening mask. I use this in the morning. So when I bath in the morning, before I wash my body, I wash my face first. Then I use this. And as I'm washing my body, this is sitting in my skin and my, the, the bath is steamy and hot. And this is going in and I love that. It's really nice. Um, it has a really strong coffee smell, which is good for your skin as well. It, it really does waking it up. And I've really, really appreciated it along the way. Um, I haven't used this one as much as I use the Himalayan, only because it's not like I want it waking it up every single day. Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> maybe it's me, but... <laughs> I mix my masks. I use different kind of masks in the morning and in the night. Um, one, if I don't use the intense coffee, I tend to go for this one. This is by L'Oreal. Um, it's pure clay detox. So I want some kind of awakening, but not everyday coffee, coffee awakening. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not that deep. So I use this one as well. I mix it up. So as you can see, it's nearly finished. But that's because I've used this so many times. This is actually my third bottle. I absolutely love this thing. It's such a good one. Um, if you're looking for something less expensive, like the Body Shop, because all of these jars are £18. So if you're looking for something less, a bit cheaper and still effective, I would definitely go with these ones because these products are about £8. And every time I got it from Super Drugs, they were always doing a deal. So like two for two for three pounds or something. No, sorry. Two for three, <laughs> two for three, or you know, five ninety nine. But the normal regular price is seven ninety nine. But you can also get a good deal with it, and I like this one. Um, alongside this, I also use this one. This is a green bottle, so this is grey. This is green. This is just um, a purifying mask as well. I don't know if you can see any of these colours. I'm so sorry. It's like really bright. But I just wanted you to see how my skin looks, all natural. As you can see, there is literally no foundation. I don't even need to lie about it. Like, what's there to hide? You know, we're all family. <laughs> so, <laughs> along with that, so I usually use the L'Oreal's in the morning. Then when I come home, I've taken off my makeup. I wipe off my makeup, steam my face. Literally, I'm not gonna lie, I steam my face like five times a week. <laughs> Just because I really feel like when I steam my face, my skin is saying, thank you, mum. Literally, that's how I see it. <sighs> Some people will be like, it's too much, not so often. But when I went to, um, when I went for a facial, they were telling me that I needed to steam my face often. And that's one of the things I tell them to do. Like, they're like, you steam your face how many times? And I was like, I just steam it like once a week. They're like, once a week? Are you mad? So they're like, you need to be steaming it a lot because you're waking up your skin. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, okay, I'll do that. That's the reason why I decided to start doing it five times a week. Um, and when I steam my face, I use this as well. So this one's another kind of body shop product. It's a Mediterranean almond milk with oats. This is so nice. It is literally an intense soothing mask. It's like jelly form. I don't want to touch it because it's going to go in my face. But it's like a jelly form. Once you put it on your skin, your skin will love you. It's so soft after. So soft. So soft. I promise you. This is also £18. Really worth the jar. Um, I 
can't just say I'm gonna use just one mask all throughout. I like to change it up because your skin will always need different things. And my face, I've got combination skin. So here is oily, here is oily, here is oily, then here, no, here is oily. So my nose and my forehead is oily. My chin can sometimes be oily, but it can also sometimes be dry. Then my cheeks are usually quite oily, but sometimes they are um, dry as well which is why I have different kind of masks. And simply because I feel like you can't just stick to one mask and hope for the best. You need to try different facial products, different companies, just so you can have a varied look. And one thing I will say is, when you first try them out, there is a high possibility you will have breakouts. When I first started using the L'Oreal, I had breakouts. However, it wasn't crazy breakout it was like it was like maybe one or two spots and i wasn't on my period so and i wasn't eating oily stuff like i wasn't eating like peanuts because i don't really eat peanuts and stuff like that like nuts um yeah so the l'oreal gave me a breakout but one thing i will say is it will break you up but it'll fix you up so it's like it needs to understand your skin and in order for your skin to accept it it has to have a few breakouts like one or two spots and but and once that happens you just need to continue on with the routine keep using it and then add to it so that's what i did so i started off with one then i tried another one and i started to see that my skin was accepting the products that i was using which is what i wanted um alongside with all those kind of different masks that i use from um, body shop because I don't know maybe it's me but I love body shop a lot I've been rocking body shop for years like 10 plus years well well long long time more than 10 years a long long time I'll be honest I've always liked body shop they're vegan friendly that's the animal there's no animal cruelty they don't use products they don't use um they don't test products on animals you need these kind of people to encourage you and it's encourage the environment as well and that's the reason I like body shop they really stand for what they believe in and I like that so I noticed some of their products did go a bit downhill like the vitamin C stuff for me personally I used to use vitamin C but I, I stopped using that ones because I didn't really like it on my skin anymore um but these ones I have to say if you really are looking for a good good face mask you get one of these i honestly suggest you get one of these i also have another one so as i said i'm telling you honest truth i use six different kind of face masks i also have this chinese um ginger said and rice it's um it's like whitish as well it's a polishing mask i'll be honest i don't really see the polishing side of it which is why i didn't buy any more this one and I actually altered for, let me show you again. Oh, sorry, I can't see it anymore. Yeah, so the Chinese one is called Chinese ginseng and rice. I didn't really see the full benefits of it, which is why I opted for the oatmeal one. This one I like more than this, but this is also as good. It depends on your skin. As I said, our, everyone's skin is different. My skin, it, it just doesn't work for everything. Like my skin doesn't allow everything in it, but this one is also not that bad. I use this in the evening. So once I've taken off my makeup, these are one of the products that I use later on in the night. Um, and then I use this small little jar. I only just started using this, like literally two weeks ago. So I got a small one first just to see how it goes. I wasn't too sure how it would, it would work with my skin. It's um, Japanese matcha tea. It seems like matcha is a thing now. It smells amazing, it's tiny and green. It has a tingly feel, which I like. It reminds me a bit of the Himalayan, but it's not as strong as the Himalayan um, charcoal one just as good but i'm not too sure yet it's not giving me a breakout yet but we can only see you know time will tell you know i don't know but so if you're looking for something with a kick i suggest you go for a more of a matcha tea or the himalayan because they have a bit of a tingly feel which i like sometimes but not all the time because i don't want it to be too harsh um, but if you're looking for more of a soothing kind of um, mask, I would suggest the almond or the, um, the Chinese ginseng and rice because it's really cool, it's not too intense. The coffee is also very cooling, 
it's like a jelly form very cooling to the skin it's not intense like the himalayan or the matcha and once i finish those masks and i just want to top it all off and finish off before i put on my creams i use these packs as well i have this youth 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 concentrate sheet i've been using this for like about a while now like three months um i buy like five then I use this one as well. This one's vitamin C. Now, I only use the sheet. I don't use the other stuff like I used to. Just this one. I actually just recently got this one. So I'm not even too sure how it's going to work. But the sheet, I feel like it won't be too detrimental than the other products. Some people have said that vitamin C has been the best for their skin. It just depends on everyone's skin. It hasn't been good for mine. But that's just me. Um, I use a lot of these sheets. I never used to really believe in these sheets. I thought nothing but but months ago when i went for that facial that facial really opened me up <sighs> the woman put a sheet on my skin and my skin was glowing for like a week like i said to her what kind of mask did you use and she was like your skin never knew what a mask was babe that's the reason why your skin was glowing it literally said thank you for using this mask so since then i started using masks so what i do is once i've done the facial literally put on them applied all these kind of masks i use this after so i top it off with this rub it in my skin i don't wash my face after that so once you've done this do not wash your face off like i do not wash my face after i've used this it's amazing amazing once I've done all of that, I have different kind of sheets, not just two sheets or by just one product. I use Primark one as well. I feel like this Primark one is really nice. I don't know why. It's like, it's just an awakening. It's tea, um, green tea. I love it. And this one only cost me £1.50. Really good. Um, the Body Shop ones cost £4 per sheet, but it all depends on the kind of sheet you get. But the Primark ones, ooh! love 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 amazing um once i've finished off with the sheets the kind of creams that i will use i will also show you as well um some people will be like it's today isn't it too much commosh commosh because if you saw how my skin looked as you saw actually as you saw as you saw in my pictures so yeah, I will keep using these products. Um, that's just me. <laughs> you don't have to use all of these kind of things, but it just I just like using them. It really has helped my skin. And I can't say, I can't pinpoint, I say it's just this product that has helped me. It's a vast majority of products that have helped me, which is why I continue to use them. Now, when it comes to the creams that I use, um, I just started using this one as called Drops of Youth by Body Shop. By the way, this is not a body shop endorsement. It's just coincidental that these are all body shop products. That's literally me being me. Like, as I said, I love body shop. I can't even explain why so much body shop, but it really is just me being me. Um, this Drops of Youth has been amazing. I love it. Beautiful. It's a jelly form as well. It really is a jelly form. Um, like, as you can see, it's like tacky, sticky. Ooh feels amazing you don't even need too much just a small amount and your skin is glowing you do not wash it off and then i top it off with this one which is a tea tree form as well a tea tree um anti-imperfection youth drop as well people will be like but you're still young yeah but this is the best time to be fixing your skin there's no point of getting wrinkle cream at 80. why i rather just get the wrinkle cream now so that when i am 80 there's barely any wrinkles right so maybe it's just me but i use anti-aging products because i don't want to age yeah melanin you know black don't crack we know that my mum beautiful skin my auntie's beautiful skin funny enough my dad as well lovely skin my sister's good skin um but yeah even my grandmother she has good skin yeah my grandma has good okay maybe i did no no Whew. sorry <laughs> i was thinking you know I'm, I'm using it 
Um, I know black don't crack, but I really don't want it to crack. So I use anti-aging stuff. Um, I put it all around here. I don't have lines, but just this one, which is because of black marks. But I use this. It's a night mask. I apply a small amount. It's also very jelly form. Really jelly form, like. Doesn't drop. Jelly, jelly form. It smells strong. Once you've applied it to your skin, it, your skin will glow. I can actually show you now, but it's just that I'm not, I haven't washed my face. But as you can see, it's like, it doesn't even want to stick onto my skin. You have to kind of dig in, put a bit on. Can you see that already? Like glowing. My skin is absolutely glowing and I love that. Ooh, nice. This cost, oh, this cost me, I can't even remember, but again, I will put the links in the description box. But this was a bit pricey. I believe it's like about £30, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's still really good. I think if you're looking for something not too pricey, like the top end stuff, and you really want your skin to glow, these are the ones. You have to pay a bit. You really do. Um, this is really good. I love them. Uh, I finish it off with my Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference just to help balance out my skin tone so to help me get rid of the blackheads I do use this Elizabeth Arden I've been using sorry I, mean, I love this smell I've been using it for a while now so this is actually my fourth bottle really good this costs about £60 but my auntie swears by it and I swear by it. So my auntie actually made me buy it. Which <laughs> was like, why do you keep buy, um, buying three pound creams and you expect your skin to look good? Sometimes you actually have to put a bit of money down. And this is definitely one of the products that I think is worth every penny. I've been using this again. This is literally my fourth bottle and pff, amazing. And I do top it off with this one which is a skin serum it's like an illuminator but you need a serum um i used to use a different kind of serum before which i'll put the details in the description box but i didn't really find the benefit of it which is why i swapped for this i alternated for this one and this elizabeth skin um hydrating cream is also a serum form which is why i like it this costs about 60 pounds as well no this cost me 40 pounds worth it and this is 60 worth it if you're looking for something cheaper um i would say um ordinary yeah i think it's like the ordinary always ordinary but ordinary is actually really good as well um they're more like acid based because all the majority of their skin products is like two percent hydrogen on the <laughs> so but you know what i mean like i don't know but it's just like more acidic um, base, but they do have good products as well, and they're very, very, very affordable. And I love them. Um, when I finish putting on the creams and the masks and everything, once I've done all of that, I set the and I put the cream in. I usually rub my face with the cream. I do this now, so I just saw this on TikTok. So I saw some woman saying, Do all of this, do it for like, do eight strokes of that, then do eight strokes of that and eight strokes of that eight strokes and i said listen my face is my face so let me know let me increase the dosage so instead of like six or eight i did 12 so i did that 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 times um once i've done all of that i set it in wait five minutes then i set it in with this now please don't judge me again this is my routine yeah I'm not bush, but one day I was just thinking to myself, you set my makeup so well, why can't you set my skin well, you know? So once I finish putting on the cream and I let it sit for five minutes, so I use this Morphe spray and I literally just spray my face, then I go to sleep. This helps a lot. Um, I like it. So <laughs> It finishes off the glow for me personally. Um, it hasn't given me a breakout so I wouldn't I don't know if it's that bad me personally I don't think it's bad because when I wear my makeup this is amazing I'm not too keen on their white version of this but the black one's amazing 
um it's been helpful for my makeup so therefore it's been helpful for my skin and it's also helped my skin in the non-makeup form i like it i don't think you can go wrong with this this cost um 16 pounds and morphe are always doing deals so if you're looking for this like i got this two for i got two for 20 pound because they're doing a deal at the time so they're doing the extra 30 percent off so i suggest you get your own um but yeah these are the products that i use if if mm, yeah so these are the products that i use if they have been helpful please put a comment in the comment section and let me know and also tell me your kind of routines maybe there's things that you think might help me i really don't mind i'm open i'm open for suggestions as you know um i just want to really improve my skin to be honest it has really come a long way i have to say it has come a really long way i do have some work to do on it but i'm really proud of where it's come from you know how it used to look versus now and yeah i'm happy i hope this video has been helpful and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys bye